Well, they've brought hundreds more people in to join this operation. These guys have come from the army. And you can see behind me, there's probably 50 or 60 people here. Now, what their exact role will be isn't clear. You can see everything here has been churned into an appalling sea of mud by the numbers of people. Uh, the Navy divers who've been trying to get through for the last two days have had no success at all up to now. And it's only now we're starting to see people with real caving experience going into the cave entrance, which is just around those bushes there. So here's another lot who are going in to the really quite narrow area at the cave entrance. We're not sure whether they've got any good news or whether they're going to help with a rescue. We've seen this coming and going of all sorts of units, people from the Border Patrol Police, people from the Marine Police going in and out all day long. But so far, they've had nothing good to show for all their efforts. Well, this is where you come into the cave complex. As you can see, these are the bikes that the boys left when they went in on Saturday afternoon. They've been down there now for three days. Obviously, there's real concern about their state of health. Although it's reasonably warm, possibly not too cool inside, the assumption is that they got cut off by rising floodwaters and that they're still alive. The trouble is, this is a complex that goes back for 10 kilometers. The Navy divers simply couldn't get through the narrow passages and they're hoping that some of the uh, volunteers who've got more caving experience may have more success. We've seen a lot of uh, oxygen tanks being brought up here. They've also got pumps over on the other side there, which we expect them to start using. It's not clear where they're going to pump the water from, but clearly they're trying to get those water levels down. Although with this constant rain, it's not clear what success they'll have. Uh, but this is very, very worrying for the relatives who've been coming up here and praying at makeshift shrines they've put up in the forest for a good result, for some kind of good news. Uh, they still haven't had it and they've still got no idea what state those boys are in or which part of the caves they may be located.